Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort of... Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnet. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnet's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't home. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Poachers! Garnet was right then. I'd better be careful. Let 
It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Get you back to Garnif, shall we? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Pardon me? My th Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. How magnanimous. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, booba tuba pus. Booba tubers do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. How on earth did you discover that Booba tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure booba tuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubas, but they grow wild. So you'll have to look around. 
Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. The window! Potato! Stupid one! Stupid one! Confringo! Incendio! Revelio. This cellar gate looks to be locked. I'll need a key to enter. Wonder who lives here. Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. breeding these things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. This is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there.
Lumos. Exiles. We need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. These eggs must be destroyed. Incendio. Confirm. Send you. Kill Ringo. Repeater. Defender. Leviosa. Descender. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Spider sacks. Revelio.
I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. I hope that's the last spider. Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place. What are you up to now? <laughs> away, High Wing! Away! No need to race now, my friend. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. There's no denial. I'm sure you had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin, about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. 
She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Just my luck, troll. Defender! Expelliarmus! Protego! Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. That should do it. 
I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Hogsmeade, here I come. Sakarissa, I found the boo with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you are all part of it. You'll never believe what... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. 
I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Natty told me what the two of you did. High Wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why.
Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio! Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Pelt. Poor beasts. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but... Carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Oh, there's nobody here. It's been ages since I've found anything <laughs> wrong. Mr. Bancroft. himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Dragon Fighting Ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. That's brilliant, I Then a what victor was sinking strike the front of no doubt.
Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. Mr. Thomas, not quiet. Stupid. It's Billy. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. No. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? Dragon Egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Hello, Hamora. the egg. Ready. Let's make them count. Careful! That one will warn you for an attack! Here is the Dallas.
was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term.